This song was written as part of the theme song challenge where we were asked to write a song that could be the theme song for our church. So I was in a different church when I wrote this, but the message I believe could be a theme song for any church that sees its identity as the local church. And we talk a lot about the local church, so what do I mean by this? I think it means a church that seeks to make a difference in the area in which it's placed. A church that cares deeply for the needs of the estate or the town or the city that it's based in. A church that seeks to bring the kingdom into the streets that surround it, speaking hope and good news to the people who pass by each day and seeking to make a positive contribution to that part of the world. It always amazes me that God's answer to a lost and broken world is the local church made up of people like me and you. The fact that he trusts us to share the message with a world in need of Jesus and introduce them to him feels like it has so many risks attached, yet it's what he's done. So often churches can set off with good intentions to meet the needs of those around and to share the message of the gospel. And at some point they slip into a position where church becomes more about the people who are already inside the building and have found Jesus rather than those who are outside and needing Jesus. Programs are developed to meet the needs of Christians rather than to mobilise those workers to get out into the harvest fields for Jesus. And it's so easily done. And there have probably been times where all of us have needed to challenge ourselves to remember that church isn't first and foremost for us. It's for those who are yet to start a relationship with Jesus or even hear about him. But this kind of work isn't without question. It isn't without pain. It isn't without heartache. I'm guessing that if you've been involved in local church ministry for any length of time, you'll be able to give me a list of people that you have personally invested in, witnessed to, discipled, journeyed with, who for a whole host of reasons aren't now around in church today. You've lived out the parable of the sower in your own life, and it's tough to get back up and to get back out there. It's sometimes tough to love again that deeply, or to offer yourself so sacrificially, but it's what the world needs. A church who is more focused on those who aren't part of it than on those who are. I've had a few people reference the ouch line in this song has been right towards the end, in the second half of verse 4. It says this, Guard us God from unhelpful distractions, moving chairs while the ship's sinking down. There's so much good stuff that churches can do, but often the good stuff can take the place of the God stuff. The local church has to be much more than just a bunch of people doing good stuff. It needs to be a place where people are equipped and released to do God's stuff, to do the things that Jesus did, to operate in the power of the Holy Spirit and seek transformation in people's lives. And so often the business and the busyness of church life can crowd this out and make us miss that. And this song also aims to recognise that God is sovereign, that God is ultimately in control. It asserts this at the start of each verse. We believe you are God of our city. But God, in his sovereign will, hands over the day-to-day operations to you and me and tells us to go and make disciples. Will we take the discomfort that this brings? Will we lay down our desire for things to meet our needs and play our part? When a local church does that consistently, things change and lives are turned around. That excites me and it pleases God. Just a final note on this song. If you're part of any church whose name is Four Syllables, Please feel free to drop in your own church name in the place of your local church towards the beginning of verse 3. I did also have a friend contact me to see whether she could switch city for village as that was more relevant for her context. Go for it. Anything that sees churches across the country singing out their desire to see God use them directly where they are deserves all of the editorial license going.